If Photoshop was a woman, she would have very nice curves. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nays. You can find me on Twitter at AKNays, or you can find me here at Flurn making delicious videos to help you guys get better at Photoshop and photography. Today we're talking about curves. We got an email from someone in the family, Emily, who wanted to know, um, she just got the complete guide to Photoshop and she wanted to know more about curves, super in depth. So today we're taking the entire episode and covering everything there is to know about curves, as well as we're going to talk about some cool things you can do to color your image with curves. So if you know everything in the whole world, uh, you don't need to watch this episode. Other than that, you should watch this episode. Okay, we've got a really cool image that we're going to be working with. And um, let's go ahead and open up our curves adjustment layer and I'll kind of just talk you guys through how everything works. Okay, we're going to grab an adjustment layer here and I'm going to go up to curves. And here we can see our properties dialog. Uh, this is the curves and you can see curves is uh, loaded up there. So we've used curves plenty of times in Photoshop before. Um, but now we're going to go a bit more in depth. Okay, so basically with curves, all they do is they control the light and the dark and the colors that are in your image. Uh, so this is a representation of your image. This is uh, the histogram. Let's just make that annoyingly big. <laughs> well, it's not displaying the histogram any bigger, so we'll make it a little smaller. Okay, this is your histogram. Basically what this does is it represents the information in your image. Um, we're in our RGB channel right now, which means we're editing red, green, and blue. So we have here the darkest part, part of our image and here we have the lightest part of our image. So here on the left, these are representation of your dark pixels. So where you see a spike basically means you have a lot of dark pixels in your image and you don't have a whole lot of light pixels in your image. Okay, now if we go to our green channel, this is now going to be this with our greens. Now don't think about it as just like, you know, only the color green because colors are made up of uh, you know, in, if you're in RGB mode, all colors are going to be made up of different combinations of red, green, and blue. So um, you, it, it's not like blue channel. You're like, this image isn't that blue. But it, there are blues that are necessary to make up some of the other colors. So think about it like that. It'll be a little bit easier. Okay, so we're going back to RGB. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple things we can do with our channels. Um, sorry, with the curves. You can drag anywhere along this line and kind of move things around. Uh, this top right corner here, if I click this and drag it down, what it does is it takes the brightest point. So here's the darkest point and here's the brightest point. It takes the brightest point in my image and just makes it not as bright. So dragging that down is going to make it not as bright. If I do the opposite and I take this point, this is going to take the darkest point on my image and make it not as dark. So you can take something that is black and push it closer to gray. There we go. Pretty quick and easy. Now you can do the other way around and drag them left to right. If I click this point and drag it to the left, what's going to happen is it's going to take my lightest point and it's going to move it. So where everything to the right of this little area is going to become the lightest point. There we go. The darkest point is going to do the same thing, making everything darker. Um, I would recommend staying away from that. Usually things look bad. Okay, now the same thing basically goes with your color channel. So I can take my red channel and if I drag this down, it's going to put not as much reds in my highlights or in the lighter areas of the photos. And the opposite of red is cyan. If I go the other way, it's going to put more reds into my highlights. Okay, this is going to put less, sorry, more reds into my shadows. And this is going to put less red into my shadows, putting more cyan. So that's basically how our, our different color channels work. And there's some other cool things you can do with it. Now you can choose your little, this little hand tool here and um, you can choose different area of the photos to drag up and down. Then that's what's going to make your actual curve. So like, let's say I click on this dark area here and I drag up. It's going to make that dark area a bit lighter, which is nice. But then we say, you know what, that made the skin a little bit too light. So we're going to click here on the skin and then we're going to push the skin back a little bit darker. So, you know, we wanted to brighten up our darks, but maybe we wanted our lights to not be as light. Now let's go in our green channel and say, uh, this back here, I want that to have more green. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to drag up and it's going to put more green, but put a little too much green in her skin. So we're going to click that and drag a little less green down there. So you can make curves basically choosing different parts of your photo and dragging up and down. Now you can do this manually as well. If you turn this off, you can click here in the blue channel, put more blues in your highlights and less blues in your shadow. The opposite of blue is yellow. So you can do this manually or you can use this little hand tool. If you guys are new, uh, relatively new to Photoshop or using curves extensively, I would recommend using this hand tool. It's a little bit easier. Okay, now anytime you want to, you can just hit this reset button and you're back to where you started with. 
you can hit this auto button and what that's going to do is it's just going to try to figure out what would be the best situation uh, you know for for this image um, auto generally doesn't give you great results but sometimes it does it basically tries to even out your highlights and your shadows and everything so I'm going to reset that now you do have different presets you can use like color negative cross process make the image darker increasing the contrast and some of this stuff you'll see is like in other parts of Photoshop as well, like increase contrast, for instance, um, there's a contrast adjustment layer. It just says brightness contrast. And all that does is adjust the information on your curves. So a lot of the filters and a lot of the settings and things like that in Photoshop, all they do is they play around with your histogram, your light and your dark levels and your color levels. And that's just the same thing that curves does. So um, using like your contrast, if I go up here to um, brightness and contrast, there we go. Um, if I bump up the contrast slider, it's just doing the exact same thing as if you were to go in your curves adjustment layer. Let's go to this guy, reset it, and pull your darks a little darker and your lights lighter. Like that's all that's doing with the contrast. So it's there's nothing secret. It, it all just kind of goes back to the same amount of information. You got this much information, you can only do so much with it, and um, you can do pretty much whatever you want with curves. Okay, let's reset that, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of cool things you can do to make uh, the colors in the image stand out. So something that's actually going to help you guys out. All right, and then I'll just give you some of these curves, so you'll you'll just be able to use them on your image. I'm going to show you how to load them and everything. Okay, so we have a curves adjustment layer here. Let's just go to our red channel, and uh, I want to click on this and just drag this red up a little bit, and that's going to put more reds in our shadows. We can already see we have like a little bit more of a vintage look now. Okay, let's do the same thing with our greens. I'm going to pump some greens into the shadows as well. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. And then the blue, you know what? I think we're going to pull that that way and then put a little bit more blues in our highlights. There we go. So you can see really quickly just with using, you know, a couple different color channels here in the curves, we can change the look of the image. So let's make that layer invisible. Let's just use another adjustment layer here. And we'll try, first we'll start off with our greens. So let's say, let's really pull down the greens. Let's say we'll we'll mess it up. This is kind of like, that doesn't look very good. But maybe we can fix it with the other layers. Okay, so we'll go to our red channel and we'll say, you know, put a little bit less red in our darks and put a little bit less red in our lights. Now we're kind of getting a different look. Let's go in our blue channel and we're gonna say, put a little bit less blue in our lights as well. There we go. And maybe we want more blue in the darks. Cool. So I want to I want to get her skin tone back to you know looking a little bit more natural. So I need to pull the blue. See, there was too much blue in her skin. So I'm going to pull that blue down to give us a little bit more of a skin you know skin color that we like in in the lights. And I'll pull the greens down as well. So now we've colored this image in this way, and we can see relatively. I mean, you're not going to get the same skin tone here, but relatively uh, a skin tone that would work. All right, let's try it. We're, we're going to do another one. And again, I don't have a plan for this. We're just kind of like playing around. Pull the yellows up and the blues to get a nice cross process. Um, let's put a little bit more red in the highlights. So we'll go grab that way and a little bit less red in the shadows. And then we'll put some green in the highlights. And then here in the RGB channel, we just click this and drag the brights down. Like if the brights are too bright, you can drag that down a little bit and maybe drag up your your darks as well. All right, let's go back to our red channel and there we go. We're gonna go up with this and there we go. That looks pretty cool. So now we have a completely different look. So using your channels, you can see, you only have a certain amount of information. You're just gonna go ahead and start editing this information in other ways, like putting different colors in different parts of your images and making these curves adjustments happen. Um, I keep saying channels. Channels are different. Channels are over here. They're for a different day. We're messing with curves, but curves do affect different color channels. So that's confusing. These are called color channels. Are red, green, and blue, those are your different color channels. Anyway. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's confusing. I don't want to know that. That's fine. I'm just going to give you these curves and then you can use them on your images. So a really quick example, uh, there's a curves adjustment layer, there's a curves adjustment layer, and there's a curves adjustment layer. You can even stack them on top of each other. You know, say those two combined look like that. Uh, these two combined look like this. So you can go in and change your opacity and use layer masks, all kinds of different things that you can do using curves alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on curves. You can do so many different things with it. And um, this is 
you know, our final image. And for those of you guys who are interested in doing like color toning and things like that, adding textures to your image, curves are a really great place to start off coloring your entire image, just like we've done here. Guys, thanks so much for watching Florin. If you guys have any images that you use editing curves, please post them in the comment box below because I would love to see them. And everyone can be like, oh my God, you're so awesome. You're really good at curves. And everyone's like, yeah, I know. I learned it at Florin. That, that's it. <laughs> have an awesome day, guys. I'll Florin you later. Yeah, girl, shake them curves. Shake them curves. Yeah, girl, shake them curves. <laughs>